Okay, we're working on the 1997, 1977 F-250 Custom. And today, I went ahead and primed from here down. And Herculined box. I also sprayed this black, but that didn't turn out that great. I know it's a little thin. I guess it's okay though. Works. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. We're using the Herky liner again. And this took about two thirds, three quarters of a gallon. Right around in there. Putting it on thick with the brush again. I choose the brush over the roller because you know, with a roller, it's hard to work it into areas like this here. So. That should make it last quite a while. And you know, it's pretty simple to throw in another coat if you need one later, it's not a big deal. We're gonna restore the truck back to its black color. I'll be sanding, you know, scraping, wire wheel, whatever I gotta do to uh, Get the, make that paintable again. You know where the paint's stuck on good, I don't need to worry about that really. We wanna do a, a good job. It ain't like it's gonna be a show truck, it's gonna be a work truck. That's what it's all about with this. And I found out something the other day that if you have, I don't know if we can even see it from here. Anyway, the shock absorber in the front I think you might be able to see it there. Ah, oh, there it is. You know, that extra linkage part in there, that tells you right away that this is what is called a high boy truck. As you can see, it's, it sits pretty high off the ground. And this is from the factory. We haven't tried to lift it or nothing. See, and that's the deal that makes a big difference to see how high the frame is off the ground. You know, it's not a lifted truck. It's just made that way. Yeah, so pretty nice. Coming right along on this project. Pretty happy with it. I gotta get the brake pedal to come back. I'm gonna try installing a spring on that. I see there's one on the clutch, but not one on the brake pedal. So I don't know if I'm missing one or what the deal is there. I, I thought I seen where it went on, got the 351 Cleveland and a stick on this one here. Old fashioned lock-in wheel hubs. So, um, This is John Rudy with Rudy Racing, signing off.